Oh wow you guys, this has been a crazy race. Did you guys watch it? Well if you didn't, stay tuned as we're about to watch it together, do a bit of a live reaction, some criticisms and commentary of this footage. Oh my goodness me, fantastic event put on by Belgrade, Serbia and World Athletics. Fantastic. So here we have the two favourite. We have Jacob Kiplimo versus Joshua Cheptegei. Who is going to win this? Well, we also had the runner-up Aragawe of Ethiopia, who is also going to be the silent favourite, which most people weren't aware of. Now, this race was clearly going to be Ethiopia versus Kenya versus Uganda. In my mind, they were the favourites for this race, and they were the three teams that would be competing for gold, silver, and bronze of the team's category. So here we have some of the athletes who are picked out to be the fastest of each team. They stand at the front and they basically do their celebration type kind of like a wave, you know. Hey everyone, I'm ready to do some serious racing. Here we have Aragawe looking fresh. He's looking lean and ready to go. Nice sharp haircut. I wonder how fast he's going to go out at because I predicted that he got very hard. So let's see. Okay then any minute now there we go right so how far oh my goodness me some of those guys at the front have gone off crazy fast what look how quick they're moving uh that's like 26 second 200 meter pace that is insane so here we have an indian runner we have a spanish runner and we have a american runner now, just a side note, I apologize for the footage not being HD for those of you camera, you know, geeks out there that like 1080p or 4K HD. I apologize for that. Um, hang on a sec. Is this guy leading the race? No way. Is he actually gone out in first place? This guy from India. I mean, congratulations to him. He has guts. But, uh, oh my goodness me. How far is his lead? You are joking. The guy's got like a... 150 meter lead on the rest of the pack so unfortunately i don't have any splits in this race because as you well know splits in cross country don't really matter the only people that really care about splits in cross country are the americans because they all run their 5ks over that kind of terrain whereas in africa and most of europe cross country has nothing to do with your pace or splits or time it's all about your position so here we have uh, Debele of, uh, is that Ethiopia? We've got a French athlete. Okay, finally the Indian athlete has been caught. He is about to be, I think he's going to fall way back now. He's made a massive mistake here. Uh, I'm not aware of this Indian athlete, so I don't think he's anywhere near the standard of these Kenyans. That is Debele of Ethiopia. Yes, I, uh, I got it correct the first time. He's now overtaken the Indian Kip Lima's, he's really staying back there. He looks about 15th placer, just by Joshua Chepter guy. This actually happened the previous two years, you guys. For some reason, Kip Lima and Chepter guy all, they run together. And they always start slow now in the cross-country races. I think it's because they expect the others to burn themselves out and run too fast at the beginning. It's kind of a clever tactic when you think about it. But at the same time, it can mess up their race. So right now, the strongest looking team is probably Uganda. We've got quite a few Ugandans. We've got Kenya in 9th, 10th and 11th place. We've got Kiplimo in 12th. Uh, who else have we got? We've got Kipratic and uh, Debele is currently in the lead. Look at that gap. It's about 50 meters, I'd say. I, again, I don't know what pace they're running, but I'm assuming it's extremely fast. If Cheptegei and Kiplimo and Aragawe, don't forget, are nowhere near the front. So obviously they've gone out very hard. And another thing to point out is the weather this year in Serbia is boiling hot. Even for spring, it is very, very hot. Uh, temperatures record high, as high as 27 degrees Celsius, which in March is crazy. Okay then, so the race is really strung out here. Uh, caught sight of a few Team GB athletes there, which is uh, good to see. But this tells me that actually the pace is very fast. And Debele has taken over from the Kenyan and also the Indian that went out way too fast. 
and has now decided that he is going to continue this good pace. If we fast forward around 20 minutes or so, or 15 minutes, sorry, we'll see that Debele has been swallowed up by the lead pack. And finally, we have Kiplimo up there. We have three Ugandans and also the entire Kenyan team. So this is looking pretty promising right now. Kenya's looking strong, so is Uganda, and also we have basically every single one of the Ethiopians in this. So Debele is in first, Kiplangat second, Rono third, we have Frere of France, or Frere, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. We've got Segu, also of Ethiopia. So there's still a fair few amount of people in this lead group. If I was to predict, I'd say there's around about 12. Obviously, if you count the people strung along at the back, then that's probably near on 25. Uh, a nice bit of muddy section there, very deep mud designed to break their rhythm. Kind of a clever part used in this course to uh, make the race more exciting and uh, also volatile. So here we have a Kenyan going out in the lead. Is this Kip Langat? I can't tell. He's looking very, very strong. And uh, he's now acquired a lead of around about 20 to 30 meters. So they're coming through a rather interesting section here with, uh, is that plants either side? Kind of looks like some bamboo or some small birch trees growing. So in this lead group, we have, well, the lead group is actually the chase group. Aragawe is tucked in there. Haven't seen him for most of the race, actually. We've got Jacob Kiplimo and, of course, Joshua Cheptegei, which really, let's be honest, guys, they're the only three we're excited about in this race because we know that they're the fastest. Obviously, everyone in this race deserves... Uh, recognition um, but uh, you know we're now around halfway and you can see that the real boys are now at the front look at this here we go Kiplimo's finally decided to start making a move and he's kind of a uh, he's unsettled that chase pack where they've all dispersed and now Chepter guy's trying to respond Aragawe's trying to respond and the other Kenyans are also trying to respond to Kiplimo chasing this leader now I believe the Kenyan in the lead is making a very inexperienced move of trying to break Kiplimo early and unfortunately he's going to pay the price eventually. However, let's wait and see what happens. In this chase pack we have Aragawe in around about 8th place. Uh, again, there's still quite a big uh, chase pack up there. The leader is maintaining a gap of around about 25 to 35 meters. So again, that's absolutely nothing. Kiplimo will be able to close that in a matter of around 10 to 20 seconds. So how is this going to happen? Well, let's wait and see. As you can see here from the aerial view, the chase pack has now got very, very small. It was originally around 15. Uh, now it looks to be around about 7 or 8. So things are starting to really kind of move on now as they overtake some of the slower athletes in this race as this particular race in belgrade is a looped course i don't know how many laps i believe they're doing up to five or six laps please correct me if i'm wrong in the comment section okay who is currently in the lead it's quite difficult to tell when you have the aerial view you can never usually tell who it actually is okay so we got chapter guy for the first time making a move aragawa is tucked in behind them tracking them he is uh, ghosting every single one of their moves and it's looking to be very, very exciting. I'm kind of uh, curious as to who will make the first move. I believe that the Kenyan is still in the lead that I apologize. I don't know his name unless they've caught him up already, which I don't think they have. Or is that him there in fourth? Again, you have to apologize, guys. This is a live commentary. This is the first ever time I've watched this race. Usually in the other races, I watch them before I commentate. However, this is a live reaction. Oh, look at that. The team charts have come in. Kenya are leading. I said they wouldn't. Wow. I apologize, guys. They are currently doing very well. Uh, some of their younger athletes are impressive. Uganda are up there, Ethiopia. I do believe, though, at the end of this, uh, Uganda will probably win. But some of these young Kenyans are really doing well. They really, really are. So now this lead pack has been stretched out properly. We don't have long left. We have around about five minutes of running left. And Kiplimo has put his foot down. Aragawa is trying to give chase. But unfortunately, Kiplimo has just got too much of an aggressive kick. He put in a crazy surge at around the 8 to 9k mark. 
and it seems to have actually done tons of damage to that chase pack. Look at the chase pack. The chase pack is now two people. Originally, it was 20 or 15. That is phenomenal. Not only has Kiblimo caught the Kenyan leading, he's overtaken him and destroyed the rest of the pack in such a subtle move. It was such a subtle move that it doesn't even look like he has increased his pace. Fantastic running by Kiplima as they come over this uh, man-made hill uh, bridge, kind of blue bridge structure, uh, which is definitely designed to also break their rhythm and make it more difficult. Aragawi having a bit of a battle in second with a Kenyan. That's looking pretty fun. I don't know if Aragawi will get silver, but he's hopefully in a medal position. Here we go. This is the finishing stretch. Look at that. I mean, just look at the, look at Kiplima. He looks like he's out on a jog. Look, how have I won so easy, guys? Where's the, where's the challenge? Fantastic. Just over 28 minutes. He is over the moon. And Aragawe managed to get second. Fantastic. Wow, Team Kenya coming through there very strong. And uh, Chapter Guy finishing outside of the top five, which is unfortunate. But So that's La Kib Langat in third. Then we have Kib Karui in fourth. Masai in fifth. And Chapter Guy in sixth fantastic running by Kenya now I did say yesterday that I didn't think Kenya had a very strong team because I didn't recognize many of their names other than Kip Langat but I was completely wrong I apologize to my Kenyan viewers and I actually say you were right you have a very strong team and uh, it's just we didn't really know most of their names a lot of the younger Kenyans haven't really hit the world scene yet apart from today in Belgrade in Serbia. So this is a fantastic breakthrough for a lot of those younger Kenyans in their 20s and early 20s and even late teens. Fantastic running here. So here we have the results. So let me just put my glasses on and we'll take a good look at these. Go through some of these names. Guys, feel free to comment down below your opinions on that race, how you felt it went. Uh, I think Aragawe struggled to respond to Kipolimo's move, which was uh, a bit of a shock because I actually thought Aragawe would push early on, but he didn't. So we have Berahu Agare uh, finished roughly around three seconds away from Kipolimo. Then we've got Benson Kiplagat, who finished five seconds away from Kipolimo and two seconds from Aragawe. As you guys saw, there was a pretty close sprint finish, a battle over that last 100 meters well really most of them were battling around last mile Aragawe was having a real tough time trying to break Kip Langat and he took it all the way to the finish line then we have Nicholas Kip Karui he finished in fourth place fantastic running by him we have Masai we have Samuel Chebos Cheboi Masai sorry if I pronounced your name wrong in sixth place, nine seconds behind Kiplimo. And then we've got Joshua Cheptegei. Again, not that far off, only 15 seconds away in sixth place. But that's what I say on this channel is the difference between gold and even sixth or seventh can be a matter of five or six seconds. So at this world-class level is very difficult. The greats have to train extremely hard and sometimes they won't even get a medal which is uh, tough, it's very difficult. So we got Uganda 1, Ethiopia 2, and Kenya 3. Kenya winning the team rankings with a very, very strong team there. So let's look at the next page, see if we recognize any of the names. And uh, I'll be interested to see where the first team GB athlete finished. So there was no GB athletes in 20, top 20, which is disappointing. Debele finished up there in a roundabout uh, the top 15 and he also actually um, started very fast I think I think he got carried away with the Indian runner and I don't know why because the Indian runner wasn't a favorite in this race so Eva de Bele tried to make the aggressive move and it was a big mistake or he actually thought the Indian runner was going to win and he saw him as a threat now, I don't know why the results have just glitched back to page one again. So here we go. Is it going to go back to page two again? So we can actually look at it. A bit of a technical error there. Okay, so Leonard Chemetai finished 18th. Dan Kibet in 11th. Warku in 12th. Uh, who else do we have? Kipritich, I recognize that name. Uh, Debele, 
we've got Segu, and we've got, uh, I think the first e uh, European was Medi Frere, or Frere. I apologize if I pronounce your name wrong. Uh, Medi finished one minute and seven seconds behind Jacob Kipolimo. So that's a very strong uh, lineup. Sorry, sorry, I just realized I forgot 17th. That would be the first place European, would be Aaron Las Heras uh, of uh, Espanol. Uh, so uh, I apologize for that. España, not Espanol. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying my uh, Spanish accent. Ugh. This is a this is a very very tough job, guys. Trying to pronounce these names. They couldn't have uh, got more difficult names to pronounce. The French guy, the Spanish, some of the Kenyans. Uh, very difficult. But uh, this is a dominating. It was an absolute domination from the Africans again, as expected. Uh, we got an Eritrean up there. Uh, Abdurrezak Solomon, uh, Solomon, uh, big, big, big competition here, um, and I really can see why Jakob Ingerichsen chooses not to race this, because he probably wouldn't get a medal, like, let's be honest. Thank you for watching today's video, subscribe if you're new for future races, and leave a like to show your support.